A capsule endoscopy is a test that we do to look specifically at the small intestine. It's a pill camera that we have patients swallow and the camera takes images from everything from your mouth until you pass it. The images we're specifically looking for is the small intestine because that's an area that they're not able to reach by either upper endoscopy or colonoscopy. The reasons that we would do this test are to look for any abnormalities within the small intestine. Commonly, we look for sources of bleeding if people have anemia or have low iron counts. We also look for people who have Crohn's disease. We look for any sort of inflammation within the small intestines. And then there are also genetic conditions that people produce polyps, something called FAP, and we use the capsule endoscopy to examine the small intestine for that as well. This is the capsule. It's about the size of a fish oil pill. It looks worse than it is. It's very smooth, so people don't have any issues swallowing it typically. And it has 16 lights, and it also has four cameras, so it gives us a 360 degree view of the small intestine. This also has a hard drive in it, which stores all of the images, which we later download and review to see what your small intestine has within it. To prepare for the capsule endoscopy, it varies based on what your provider prefers as well as what capsule system they are using. Some of the providers have you use a partial colonoscopy prep the day before to clean out your system. Other providers require you to do a clear liquid diet the day beforehand. What this will do is flush out your intestinal tract so that the camera can get a clear view. The capsule endoscopy, you do not feel any symptoms with it. It's similar to taking any other pill that just travels throughout your intestinal tract and then you'll pass it in your stool. Some of the systems require you to retrieve the capsule and if that's the case, you will receive instructions in the kit to retrieve it. Others, you have to wear a recorder for the day, similar to a halter monitor that stores all of the images. And in that case, you pass the capsule in your stool and it gets flushed down the toilet. If the capsule does get stuck, it typically will reveal the underlying issue which was causing the symptoms in the first place. If you do have any concerns, please reach out to the office and speak with your provider directly.